All right. Hello there. I am Papa One, and this is AOS Virtual Forester 2, and this is Show 10A. Now, we are getting ready to do the Fight for Gold Championship, and these four people will be the competitors. And previously, in the previous video, I had figured out how to, which characters I was going to use for what and all this other stuff. So we had eight people who are automatically advances to the fifth part of the chance. And we also have to do the Fight for Gold title match, which will be this video. And then we got to do two faction of three qualifiers and two combatants qualifiers. So, with that being said, we have the qualifiers and the Fight for Gold title matches right here. To make a long story short, for we won't have to go through a lot of different stuff, Kenta is the reigning Fight for Gold champion. And what I mean by reigning is he gets to keep the title because he managed to get more than one elimination. So you get two or three eliminations, three meaning you eliminate all your other competitors. That means you picked up the pinfall submission or TKO. You are automatically qualified to be part of the fight for gold championship again if your fight for gold title challenge fails so you get to be back in it so he ended up getting three in his last fight for gold championship so he is still the champion so he gets to go at it again to try to see if he could go after another champion at pay-per-view number 10 now mayhem he was a part of my 15 um, the 15-man KO League that used my crafts that weren't ranked or anything who were for the um, KO division. Like the, the characters I basically use when I do the KO division, stuff like that. He ended up being everybody, so I was like, you know what? I'll reward him and put him in the Fight for Gold Championship. Now, as far as Z and R, which you see right here, Z as in Zig Free from Street Fighter, and R as in Brook from Fantasy Strike. They were part of two four-man tournaments to determine who out of my eight new characters that I created will be a part of the Fight for Gold Championship. These were the two winners, and that's how that is, what have you. So without further ado, that's enough of the introduction. Let's go into the game and make the match. And we will be using the what's the name? The one with the ramp. The um what could the Tokyo Dome that has the ramp. Yeah, that's where this match will be taking place. I already checked to make sure that all the characters have their moves. <laughs> Over here as well. We also got these three right here over here as well because these three are gonna be part of the first um the first of two faction of three qualifiers so this is one of the teams that's a part of that so that's why we got them more here as well and they're all from including mayhem all four of these characters are from the same slot which is slot two so that's why i just put them all right here yeah they're not in this match they're going to be in the in the first qualifier so that's why they're sitting right there probably will have to go back and redo all the stuff when we get to that match Okay, so let's go in right here. Wait, let me make sure it's on. Well, I was going to double check that anyway. I don't know why I, why I thought it was necessary to do it right there. Go here. Tokyo Dome with the ramp. And right here. Got to put Kenta right there. Boom. Four characters. Oh, Kenta's over here. Damn, he's right there. Keep on getting where characters are. And now it's time to pick one, two, three. All right. False count anywhere. Oh, so we can go off of this right quick. You know what? Maybe I could just do this instead. 
So we'll do this instead. So um, what is it? What's it called? So. I even try to use that. I was trying to use that to get to this, the um, matches and stuff. I don't even know. Oh, I ain't even put that on as anything. That's why. I thought that shit was going to pop up over there. It wasn't going to pop up because I don't have it on there. It's not that. So that we can get to this. So you can see what the match rules look like in English. So we have no time limit, false count anywhere. We have pinfall is on, TKO is on, blood is on, give up is on, rope breaks are turned off, time decisions are maybe turned off because there's no time limit, and then quick match is also turned off. So right over here we have false cow anywhere, we have give up is on, um, rope break is turned off, blood is turned on. I don't even know what the heck this is, so I'm just going to put that like that. I think that's for, like, a count out or something. I don't know exactly what that's for, but we have quick matches turned off. We have TKO is turned on, and we have pinfall is turned on, and there's only pro wrestling rules because there's no MMA. I wish there was an MMA one where you could do a battle royale, but no. Because I think people will pick up people while they're, you know, while they're doing the 10 count and stuff like that. So that's probably why that's not on there. Yeah, we can basically get started. I forgot that um, the Faction 3, as well as Combatants and Fight for Gold, don't have none of that. We can just skip straight to the champion walking out with the belt. Here's the champion. Just music because I don't like there's only like really like four things to pick from for music, so I, I don't really concern myself with picking music because there's, all, there's a limited selection. Like, if there's a lot of different ones, like with other games, how they have it, I would consider giving them music or something. But if anything, they're already they'll probably all come out to the same music, and like with the newer wrestling games, like. If I make characters for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 or the King of the Coliseum 2, I skip freaking intros anyway. You know, I get straight to them being in the ring. I do not, like, care to see them walk to the ring. Even with the girls that I actually like looking at the intros. <laughs> I did the best I could with His move says decent but could be better, but that's here nor there. You know? I ain't want him to have a lot of moves that already gave a lot of characters anyway. Even though he kinda does. So let's see who's gonna win this. I can't really do commentary because it's a fatal forward, you know. I think that's called a fire thunder driver that sit out power driver. Did you see him doing again right there? Red thunder driver, or whatever. I just call it a sit out. Um, a sit out, um, tombstone power driver. Yep, what's the name? Is a super heavyweight, but even though what's the name is not categorized as a super heavyweight, um, what's the name? Z, he is not really characterized as a super heavyweight, but because of his size or whatever like that and because I want him to be the type of director who would counter people's stuff or does they not be able to easily pick him up that's why he's categorized as super heavyweight 
What's name is actually a super heavyweight in size and everything else? Um, R, which is, I'm going to say Rook and Zip Free, because you know who I'm talking about when I say those names on here. Yeah. Rook, which is the guy in R, Gray, and stuff like that. His character is a super heavy weight. Character name again, um, um, Vader. I never seen nobody power about him, you know, and stuff like that. But like, this game got certain moves that you can do to anybody, like power bombs work against super heavyweights, vertical suplexes work against super heavyweights, most belly to back suplexes will work against heavyweights, and stuff like that. Well, the weak grapple was you can't do against super heavyweights, which is weird, but I guess because they're only a weak grapple, but you can do the weak front grapple vertical suplexes against a, a um, heavyweight and the gun wrench, weak gun wrench um, suplexes against a super heavyweight. It's just, it's, it's not specific enough where it makes sense to me, is all I'm saying. Like, cause there's several moves on here that I would think like you should be able to do that to anybody, but you can't. But other shit that doesn't make sense. Like, it's rare that super heavyweights get put in a power bomb. You know, like and like the people who are capable of doing that, most of the time they are. You know, like Kevin Nash did it to Big Show before, right? He power bombed Big Show. Not too long ago, you seen um. What? Otis get power bombed by what's his name? By um what's his name? Um Braun Strowman. You seen um Lance Archer and um what's his name? Um Big Bill. They get power bombed by Warlord and Warlord and whatever like that. So This power bomb or the spinning power bomb. Oh, it's no longer going to be Chip. He's just been eliminated. The first one eliminated, too. Don't be left with my power bomb. Now, another thing. I know I always would be doing something like that. If I were to the first of the three, like, I mean, I'm not catching the thing. God damn it. I mean, the, when it comes to the Fight for Gold Championship, if you get two eliminations, even if you don't win, you're still liable to be in the next Fight for Gold Championship. If you haven't become, like, ranked or something. You know, you're allowed to be a part of it again and stuff like that. So you need to either get two eliminations or you need to get two eliminations while winning or eliminate all three people. Those are the ways you could be back in the Fight for Gold Championship the very next time and stuff like that. You know, those people are allowed to be in the very next one and stuff like that. You know, when they follow those parameters and stuff like that and win like that. Damn it, he just overpowering everybody. No, he's going to be able to kick out of that. Oh, 
I mean, Rook is out here destroying everybody. I think nobody has blocked the um, full Nelson slam and people are doing it. Or fantasy strike, he's basically a clone of this free if you ever played the game. I don't get how the game would get more popular. I don't care how limited the game was or how many characters they made for it. And I also don't care that people say it's kind of easy to play or whatever like that. The thing is, like, games that are easy to play but hard to master is the, the premise of video games in itself. He's finna be... He's gonna get two eliminations right now. Oh, never mind. The other guy got it. They finally came and got the garbage truck. Yeah, like with the the new eight people that I created for slot five, only one of them is not um you know, shoot wrestling style and stuff like that. Almost all of them are what's it called? The uh, um the damn what's it called? The um oh seven of them of them are the shoot He has a chop that can do KO damage and stuff like that. And that's what you just saw him knock down somebody with. It's more of a body shot with that. And you just saw that spinning chop that um Rip did. That pose represent that um that jump and attack that he does when he does a spin in with the vines and stuff like that. That's what that pose would be. I'm thinking Mayhem may be the next one to eliminate, but could be freaking, um, what's his name? Could be the, the Zipfree character I created, you know? Because his stomach is hurt right now. Categorized as super heavyweight, so I mean, nobody's really doing on this. Grapple. He's able to attack them because he's going for that new grapple, which is just a um, what's it called? A shot to the back or whatever like that, a sword to the back. I try to give some smooth, especially the strikes that represent like the strikes that you may see when you do in the video game. Like, um, Zuri does do the back chop to put that down in your game, but I was trying to look for a move that would represent that spinning punch to the body that he does, or whatever like that, but I still was trying to do that. That's how I was trying to do that. The moves on the game was very loaded, and stuff like that. It's a great game. It's probably going to like one of the newer wrestling games or something like that, something similar to that punch, where he. Like, it's basically a spinning back fist, but instead of going to the head, he goes to the body with it. Oh, he may tap him. Yeah, he may tap him. All right, so Rook.
going to count if you do it while fighting them on the ramp. You have to be in the ring. And also, like, let's say you go for a pinning move on the ramp. It's not going to count for, you know, the pro wrestling style match and stuff like that. It's also not going to count for the, um, what's the name? The, the, um, what's the name? The double team match. The double team division and stuff like that. So that's why the absolute is the main one that takes place at the um what's the name? At the um Tokyo Dome with the ramp and stuff like that. Now show A is for the Tokyo Dome with the ramp for all the different characters and stuff like that. And then I think show B is gonna be at the um I gotta look at it because it, it, I got it written down where it says where they all take place and stuff like that. Yeah, he's gonna get off the elimination. Because you're not allowed to win this by um, low stoppage. Doing some damage to him now. Okay. Lion Tang. Damage overall. The rain is too much stuff, but arm is too much stuff. Arm, but if you just have to touch. All right.
that's what I'm talking about right here, bro. <laughs> First or February second supposed to be Groundhog Day or some shit. I feel like it's the first. I feel like it's the second because April Fools is April first. I feel like the second is supposed to be Groundhog Day. I don't even think we even go off of that shit no more because of global warming and everything. You know, the weather's already messed up as it is. I think the weather. Well, congrats to him. He is the. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no, I'm good. I'm good on what I'm doing. So we supposed to screenshot that stuff because that's for the results. Oh, this. Mm. Now, Zipfri was going to go into the pro wrestling division. So that's why I'm gonna put him. He's going to that fist by his qualifiers. And Rook, if he didn't win, he was supposed to go into the um you know to the grappling one. And then Mayhem, he was going back into either the either the KO division or absolute division or possibly the um what's the other one? Possibly what's the other one? The um Oh, MMA division. Because I'm going to have a lot of the people who supposed to go in for the striking division or whatever like that. For the KO division, they go into MMA as well. Because you only need two knockdowns. And the people who are good at the um, KO division will be perfect over there. Now that you only need two knockdowns to win any match. So, you only need two of them. That's for the title match, you no know, contenders match, ranked match, fist by chance, and the qualifiers. Make it better because we can take this one off and just delete that right away. Put that over here. Where is it? Oh no, that's supposed to be right here. Just stay right here on the outside for the results. Yep, that's right. We can go back over here. Next up will be 
the faction of three championship. So that's gonna be the next thing that you're gonna see. Let me go off of here. Okay, so that's who getting a, a buy is him. Okay. version of the game where I could just create the whole entire roster myself. That way I don't got to worry about going to slot one. Yeah, you go off the game now. So that's what's going to be up next. It's the uh, Back to the Three Championship Qualifier number one. And then we're going to be doing, we got two of those to look forward to. And we got two of the Cabinet Team Qualifiers to look forward to. Other than that, I got to start figuring out after we get done with all the Qualifier. I mean, after we get done with the Faction of Three. The, uh, after you get done with the Factor 3 and the Combatants Team Qualifiers, there I gotta figure out who's gonna be part of Show 10A's Fist by Chance Qualifiers for the six divisions. You know, Every, basically, after I get done with the, um, the Team Qualifiers and the Fight for Gold Championship, I pretty much know who's gonna be part of Show B because Show B is nothing but rank characters you know show b is nothing but ranked characters show c is full of ranked characters as well as the um what's the name the people who won their won the qualifier tournaments and the pay-per-view basically figure out itself once we get show with done with show b because all the number one contenders matches let you know who's going to be part of the pay-per-view so at the show B is done, so I can always figure out show B after the team qualifiers and the fifth spot. I mean, fight for gold championship is done. That I can always figure out who's part of the pay per view after show B is done. So only show A, I need to figure out stuff for. But after show A and and B, we know who's gonna be part of show C. You know, so we gotta do show A and B to figure out who's gonna be part of show C. Those have to be completed, basically. But yeah, as soon as we get done with show B, show C, and the pay-per-view is able to be figured out because everything just basically figures out itself after that. I know I'm still talking. Oh, it's just over 35 minutes. But yeah, we'll be done with this in a second. So again, congrats. Go out to Rook. And... I'm probably gonna change up the names and stuff like that. I probably will just say Zigfried, and then their what's their stuff will be this. The the R the R um slash F S that'll be like their nickname stuff for that. Cause I might as well. I did a decent enough job at creating them and stuff like that. I also created. Hitman, but he has on like a mask and stuff like that. And then, what's the other character? Oh, Fang from um, King Gun Ashura. I created him just because his outfit is simple and you know, he just got slick back hair. 
So that's another character I created. All right, until the next one later, I hope you enjoy.